We're on Algebra 2, Lesson 4-7. Today is December the 10th. What's up, Chris? I had never made that promise. I can do it on your birthday, sure. All right, so let's talk about what an identity is. So an identity is an equation. Write it down, equation. It's an equation that is true for all values and then in parentheses that can be subbed in for the variables. That can be substituted for variables. Where the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Right, so that it is, it's like a, a true equation, essentially. The left equals the right. If the left doesn't equal the right, that's a problem, Chris. You're like, scratching. you're scratching your nose, okay. Example one, is the following <coughs> equation a valid identity? Is the left and the right equal to each other? Let's take a guess, thumbs up, thumbs down. Do you think it's true? Do you think it's an identity? Thumbs up, thumbs down, what do you think? Just eyeballing it. If you had to just guess because you're out of time on a multiple choice question, would you say yes or no? I see most of us are doing thumbs. Actually, it's about 50-50. Some thumbs up, thumbs some, some thumbs down. Okay. So well, in order, you take it back, thumbs up. So in order to solve these, you have to follow the steps. Like um, on the back side, we'll follow the steps. On the front side, you actually have to do the steps all on your own. You need to multiply a plus b times a plus b. How do we multiply binomials? Do you remember that? How do you multiply just polynomials for that matter? Quiet raised hand with your participation card. I see Teflon has her participation card with her quiet raised hand. What is it? Oh, okay, Fiona. What's that picture thing that we always use? What is this thing that we always use to multiply? The box. Yeah, how do we use the box? <gasps> a plus B. All right, I put A plus B on the top. A plus B right there. And then what goes in this first box? A squared. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Turn in your participation participation card. I'll give this to someone else now. Let's come over here. Let's come to our class. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have a trash can at the very end of the, the table anymore. <laughs> Wait, can you go back to that? There's come back to here. Dude, how am I at three? You were late and you didn't do your homework. All right, so... What goes in this box? Quite raised hand, Eva. What about the next box, Eva? A B. <laughs> nice. Geo goes in the next box. B squared. B squared. Geo, Eva, you're in. And when I add these all together on that right hand side, what do I get when I add all three of these together? Quite raised hand, quite raised hand. Teflon? Wait, what am I doing? You're adding all the stuff in the box. A squared. Plus 2AB. Okay. Plus B. Congrats, Teflon. Turn in your card. All right. Now that we simplify the right-hand side, does the left-hand side equal the right-hand side? Yes. We have simplified both of the sides. No. We have this extra 2AB, so the answer here is no. What if you use FOIL? Uh, FOIL will give you the same answer that we got here. Oh, I didn't know you were kidding. Sorry. Never mind, never mind. Okay, so that one is not a valid identity. Let's try example two. This one is kind of cool. All right, so again, I'm going to multiply polynomials. So someone help me set up the box. What goes off the top? What goes on the bottom? Let's do the longer one on the top. What? Which one's on the top? The bigger one. We'll do this one on the top. Go for it, Sego. Set it up for us. A squared minus AB plus B squared. Yeah, on the side. Mm -hmm. A to the third power. A to the third power. Be careful. I just want to write this one. A plus B, and then do the first box to get your partici participation point. Two A B. A to the third. A to the third. There it is. Thank you, Stego. Turned in. 
All right, rapid fire. Do these really quick. What's A times negative AB? Someone that still has their card, raise your hand with the card. You can raise your hand, but unless I see a card, I'm not going to call on you quite yet. Andrea, go for it. Negative A squared B. Turn in your card, Andrea. Thank you. Next we have what? You can still raise your hand, but I'm looking for a raised hand with a card. I'm calling on you first. Chris, you're going to turn in your card, I think. James? Oh, no? Okay, Chris, go for it. Is it AB squared? It is AB squared. Turn in your card. Thank you, Chris. What goes in this box in the bottom left, James? A squared B. James is in. I think everyone is in now. Is that correct? All right, cool. Gio. Negative AB squared. And then finally, we'll give it to Fiona. B to the third. There it is. All right, now I need someone to add up all these like terms. Eva? There it is. Yeah, thank you, Eva. What's up, Jim? Okay. Yeah, so this one is really cool. So this is actually a formula that is memorized by many, many high schoolers. Lucky for you, you don't have to memorize it because I'm not going to test it. I'm not going to quiz on it for a while, not until January. So, but let's go ahead and write down these formulas. We will need these in the future. So A cubed plus B cubed. This is a sum of cubes. We've seen a difference of squares. By the way, sum of squares doesn't work. There's no such thing as a sum of squares yet until January. It'll come in January. Don't worry. A cubed plus B cubed. Go ahead and write down. This is the identity. The identity is, and then you're going to just write it down with me. It's A plus B right there. Just copy it down from example two. A plus B times the quantity of A squared minus AB plus B squared. There is your solid identity. There's also an identity for a difference of cubes. Cubes are really unique in the fact that you can have a sum and a difference of them. For squares, you can only have a difference of them until you talk about the complex plane. All right. So for difference of cubes, it's almost the same thing. You start by saying a minus b in this case. And hopefully Mr. Sindel can remember the rest of the formula. Does anyone want to take a guess at what the rest of the formula is? Sego, go for it. Sorry if I'm wrong. A squared plus AB minus AB. Plus AB. I think you're close. Let me just double check. A uh, sum of cubes. Mr. Snell needs to refresh himself. Varsity tutors, yes. And sum of cubes. Oh, God, this site is so... There it goes. There it goes. Minus plus plus plus. No. Okay, so yeah. So the only sign that switches is that middle sign. So it is B squared right there. So it's just the middle? Just the middle sign that sign, yeah, changes. So let's go ahead and circle that middle sign. Circle these middle signs. There's only four things that will change, and they flip-flop. Circle those signs. You will need to know those formulas in the future, but for now, I don't really care. Ah, thank you. All right, questions thus far? So you have two assignments tonight. One of those assignments... We're done? I'm sorry, no. You have one assignment. The one assignment has a bunch of different types of questions. This is the first type of question where you have to verify if the left is equal to the right. The basic process is multiply out the side that isn't multiplied to see if it's equal to the other side. Here's the second type. They will give you a proof, a proof of an identity, and you have to follow their work. If you can follow their work, then it's a valid proof. If you see a mathematical error, then you have to say where that error occurred. It occurred between... Here and here, that means it occurred on step one. If it was, if it occurred between step two and step three, that means the error was on step three. Step three is no longer correct. Let's go ahead and look at example three. So I start with this 2x times the quantity of x minus 5 minus 3 times the quantity of 5x minus 5, and we get 25x squared plus 50x plus 25. From there, it looks like they're factoring out a 25, 25 out of each of the terms. And then from there, they say x squared plus 2x plus 1 is x plus 1 quantity squared. All right. Are all those steps correct? Is one of them wrong? Two of them will never be wrong. It's either one or none. And if it's one, you have to figure out where. What I want you to do now, because these are hard, talk in your groups. Come to a conclusion. Is this valid? 
Is it not valid? And if it's not valid, you need to tell me which line is incorrect. Go ahead and talk now. All right, so we're back. We talked in our groups, and we are still having trouble geo correctly identified that step one has the error. And let me talk about why. So from to get from step one to step two, if you assume step one to be correct, which it's not, you are factoring out a 25 correctly. So step two would have been okay. And I can do that in blue so we can actually see it a little bit better. Step two would have been okay. To get from... Chris, please stop. To get from step two to step three, that is also correct because a square... A squared binomial, you double, the, or you square the first, square the first, double the product, one times x is one x, doubled is two x, and square the last. Each of those is correct. That means step three is correct to get from step two to step three. However, to get from the original problem to step one, there's nothing that says that you should get here. This is kind of just random gibberish. I mean, there's some fives in there that makes it look like it might have happened, but there's no way to get from here to step one. That is an incorrect step, which means step one there's an error. So the answer is no. It is not a valid proof. Error on step one. There's no way to get to step one correctly. Like that is just some random gibberish that I decided to spew out. Let's look at example four. Is this following proof valid? And there are a lot of steps. So you have to say, yes, all those steps are good, or no, this one step is wrong. So again, you're talking in your groups. Which of these steps is wrong, if any, or maybe all of them are good? Go now. All right, so we're back. Um, there is an error on here. Where is that error? What line does that error occur? Quite raise hand for XP. Teflon. So um, on step four. On step four, okay. You're correct. Oh, wait, step three. Oh, wait, no, the so it's, it's correct up to step three, and then from step three to step four, that's where the error occurs, which means step four is the incorrect step. All right, you're correct. Can you explain why? Yeah. Okay, tell us. Step three, it says negative four to the second power. Yep. So that should be negative four times negative four. So it should be positive four times negative four. Ah, this should be a plus sign. Right there. Yeah, negative four times negative four. should be a plus sign right there. Yep, that is definitely one of the two errors. There's a second error, too. Does anyone else see it? Yeah, Eva. There should also be a negative 32x to the power of, or no, you're right, sorry. You said, you said 8? Or it's 32? Oh, well, yeah, obviously, okay, yeah. So if it's, if it's going down, then yes, you would distribute that, and that's fine. So assuming that step 4 is incorrect, or assuming that step 4 is correct, then step 5 is okay. Here's the second error. If I were to multiply this out, and you can write this down to get some review down, if I have x squared minus 4, and I multiply that times x squared minus 4, if I FOIL it out, x squared minus 4, you should get a middle term. Let's check it out. x squared times x squared is? Is x to the fourth. Negative 4 times negative 4 in this box is? Positive 16. So that was the first error that we caught, but check this out. Okay, negative 4 times x squared? Negative 4x squared. Negative 4 times x squared? Negative 4x squared. Which means if I multiply x squared minus 4 times x squared minus 4, it should have been x squared minus 8x plus 16. So, yes, it should have been plus 16, which we caught. And there should have been a middle term. There were two errors that were made on step 4. So the answer here, again, happens to be no. Error on step 4. It should be squared, yeah. That should be squared, that should be to the fourth. That is, yeah, it's a teacher error, so log it in your extra credit tracker. I'll give you the extra credit, or the uh, points on here, which is 70. Very nice, yeah, I like it when people catch me. So no, um, it is not a valid proof. There's an error on, on step, I was writing step, yeah, on step four. And that concludes the notes. Are there any questions? That is not a valid question. All right. Go ahead and write your summaries now.